In this video, we're going to look at a few Arduino projects which I have built. Now, if you're familiar with the Arduino platform, you're probably using one of these boards here. It's Arduino Uno. Now, this is open source, so the schematics are online. Anybody could build these. These two were from China. This one is a Canadian version. Now, on this one, the FTDI chip that converts the USB to serial is, a, is the true FTDI, so your Windows computer will recognize it as soon as you plug it into the USB port. The ones from China are using the CH340 uh, interface chip between the USB and serial. So you'll have to run their drivers for it to work properly, which I have done and I, I have found no problem with that. Actually, I prefer using the Arduino Nano, which is this little board here. It's basically the Uno shrunk down into a dip package so you could fit on a breadboard similar to this, which I like. So I could just plug it into the breadboard. I got my 5 volt output. I could run I could run other circuits from there. It's a lot handy for me to use to use uh, the Arduino Nano and then from there you could actually embed it into uh, into your project. So the projects we're going to be seeing in this video we'll be using the Arduino Nano. Um, also the ones that I'm using are from China so the FTD the FTDI chip the interface USB to serial interface is also is a CH340 so you'll need to uh, load the drivers onto your laptop to, uh, to communicate with this board but I, I didn't find any problems it seems to work very well. So on with our projects. Okay, here's our first project. Wireless device control via Bluetooth. So let's pretend we have four devices that we want to control wirelessly. A door, a heater, a light, a window, indicated by the four LEDs. So we have our Arduino Nano controlling an HC05 Bluetooth module. As you can see, the LED on the module is blinking, indicating it needs to be paired. So the first thing we'll do, we'll pair it to our smartphone. There's our smartphone. And we'll hit connect. And we'll select voice. That's the name of the Bluetooth module. And it says connected. And as it's connected, we see the LED has stopped flashing. So we're connected to our app. So now we can go ahead and use our app to control the four devices. Okay, so we have our our board powered up by the USB cable. You can see the LED on on the Arduino Nano. It's powered up. Our Bluetooth module the LED is solid, so it's paired to our smartphone. And we have the app running on our smartphone, the Bluetooth serial uh, app. And we can activate some of these devices. There's light on, light off. You can see that the light on is connected to pin 13 of the Arduino Nano. And the response is pretty quick. So the door open, door close. I got all high, all LEDs, all low. Okay, again, we have our board powered up by a USB connector. You can see the LED on on the Arduino Nano. And on our Bluetooth module, our HC06, the LED is solid, so we are paired to our app. In this case, our app is a voice control, a Bluetooth voice control. So we can control our devices by voice. So let's give this a try. Light on. Light off. Heat on. Heat off. Door open. Door close. And I can control all of them 
all high. So here's the schematic for the Bluetooth device controller. So here's our Arduino Nano module, which is powered by the USB. And I'm using D10, D11, D12, and D13 GPIO outputs to power the four LEDs through some 330 ohm current lim limiting resistors to simulate the door control, the heater control, light control, and the window control. 5 volts output from the Nano powers the Bluetooth module. Now the Bluetooth module will take 5 volts, but internally it has a 3.3 regulator that cuts it down to 3.3. So the output from the Bluetooth, output signal, the TX serial output will be 3.3 volts, which the Nano will recognize. But the input to the Bluetooth should be 3.3 volts. So that's why we need voltage dividers from the TX output of the Nano, which is, which is 5 volts, to bring it down to 3.3 volts to run the Bluetooth module. Decoupling capacitors are on the Bluetooth module and also on the, on the Nano. So that's basically, it's a very simple schematic. That's basically a schematic right there. So I'll just scan the board for the Bluetooth device controller so you get an idea how it's wired up. I'll just do a quick scan of the board. That's basically it. This shield can also be used with an Arduino Uno to replace this circuit for wireless device control through uh, Bluetooth. And it's a lot handier because you've got actually contacts from your relay to, to drive all your devices. Again, you can use the same same software, same code as on the Nano to drive this um, with, with the Uno board.